All right, here we are backstage at the Absolute TV Lounge at Fun 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 Fest in Austin, Texas with the one and only Polyphonic Spree. With about 14 members. Yes, here we are. Right. And their fearless leader, Tim Delotta. How are you, sir? Fine, thank you. It's good to be here in the, in the Absolute Tent. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> So we have uh, you have your new outfits for this new album. That's right. Uh, this, these were inspired by the new record. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. um, out on Kirtland Records, and uh, this is this is what we we actually change all of our look for mm -hmm. every record. Yes. Not just a couple of people, but all of it. All of, all of our look. Well, uh, one thing that we are asking all the artists is what inspires you, not necessarily other music, but in life, like what, what do you find out there in the world that, that, that brings you one of your songs? Just oh, maybe man. even one on this new I album. I guess when it all works out, we're all kind of the same way. It's like when it works out for you at the same time, uh, it's a pretty great feeling. Uh, we're all that way, like get a good grade on your test or you made the light before it got red or Whatever, you got what you ordered and it came out exactly how you ordered it. That's like the Polyphonics 3. We're just, uh, we, we like the things to work out in our favor. Yeah. Well, and uh, tell me how you manage such a group, because it's hard enough, as you know, to be in a band, but to have this kind of scope of things. That's a great question, and I don't actually do that. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife does it, and everybody in this band does it. Everyone pulls their weight, and we all manage ourselves, right? Oh. And I think they're they're fantastic. And it, it wasn't for them and them like being present in the moment, we wouldn't be able to be here like we are right now. Yeah. Well, now we're coming up on the holidays, which of course is the annual Polyphonics Big Christmas Show and at the Lakewood Theater. Thanks so. for bringing that up. Yeah. Of course. So, uh, what can you tell us about that? Because that's a really, really special show. Yeah. It's um it's been what 11 years, 12 mm -hmm. years in the making, and um, we do it every year at the Lakewood Theater in Dallas. And it's where a chance you can be indoors and see it snow. Uh, all the characters from the uh, Rankin Bass shows, uh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman, Santa reads a story, which is Plain Dave, my buddy from third grade, who he, he likes Absolute as well. And so you hope that he gets through the story, but it's really a good story. And then uh, there's, I don't know, it's a killer spirit, mm -hmm. and uh, we all enjoy doing it. We play Christmas songs, and we support our record, uh, Holiday Dreams, that we released last year. So it's kind of like our chance to showcase that record in something that we enjoy doing, which is playing Christmas time. Good. Holiday times. Yes. And it's perfect Christmas music, perfect holiday music. Thank so you. It's yeah, a, it's I agree. So are you going to take that on the road as well? Because that's something that should be shared. I totally agree. We took it out last year, but you know what exhausted us? And we've been going all year uh, around the world. We've been playing nonstop. And this year, I think we're all pretty tired, but we we want to put a lot into this Christmas show at Lakewood this year. So it's going to be off the off the charts. Uh, we're, we're gonna go places we've never gone before and I think Tom Hanks is gonna make an appearance because of uh, Polar Express he's gonna be there I know his son's gonna be there Colin so mm -hmm. it's gonna be kind of interesting and we'll see what happens well last thing I know that you uh, you're a very uh, positive person positive music I we, wouldn't we, say we, that we need, well <laughs> oh you have something to show me yeah, here. excuse me there you go that was Spike Gillespie <laughs> she was doing a yoga move we have, uh, uh, do you have some words of wisdom for some artists that are up and coming that, that want to take this on? Because it's not wisdom. an easy I don't business. want that responsibility, but I will say, just guys, just keep doing what you normally do. And uh, yeah, just do what you normally would do. And it'll work out for you. I promise. You heard it from the man himself. Well, thank you so much for being back with us here at the Absolute Lounge at Fun 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 Fest. And we'll have more backstage here in Austin right next.